All right, guys, we've just uh, we've sort of had our swim. It's a really nice place, mashallah. And it's just easy to get around. There's no language barrier. There's no, you can get around easily. And it's, it's just a nice place to be. No pressure. I cannot stress how beautiful this place is. It's been a mad experience. You enjoyed yourself, yeah? Alright, we finished Blue Lagoon, man. What's your experience out of 10? If I'm honest, yeah, it's a good 9 out of 10, you know. Guys, I'm rating it a solid 10, 11 out of 10. Like, you think, oh, somewhere hot is nice. Nah, man, nah. It's different. Yeah. People from everywhere are here, like. We, like, half of the people we met in there were from the States. And yeah, bear man were from the United States of America. America, but, like, we met Spanish lads, we met Dutch people. We met people from Ecuador, Brazil, bare Portuguese man as well. It's nice here man, alhamdulillah. We're gonna come back here on Friday inshallah just to get some drone footage because I left my drone at home, at the hotel I mean. Inshallah, coming back soon. You're not a real Dave fan if you don't listen to Dave on holiday. The best ever. Ever? In the UK at least, innit? Iceland in Iceland, I told you there is! Are you, are you, are you mad? Yo! Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, so this place that we're going is called Mandi. If you ever hear the chicken's halal, so the chicken and the lamb. Definitely some place I recommend. Yeah. What are you going today? What are you feeling? Lamb. Lamb, yeah? Say anyway. Back on the uh, shawarma place. Yeah man. Good one. I'm I'm good Chat to me about the food man. Let's look at the plate. If it's gone, it means it's good bro. It's nice to have like some of that's halal. It's very important. But alhamdulillah, it's always good to have halal food and I think that's a pull factor for any Muslims traveling to over here, isn't it? Very welcoming community as well. Like we've not experienced any sort of racism or Islamophobia. All we got told was our beards are a little bit pointy. Don't tell the Icelandic authorities, but I'm feeling a little bit ill, I can't lie. Man's Rona, you know. No, it's not Rona. No, yeah, it's just a cold. But you know when you feel it like in your throat over here and you know, you know what, it's coming. That's oh, how I feel right so now. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, you know what it is? I think, like I said, it was a contrast between hot and cold from Blue Lagoon. Because we literally went from a sauna that was baking hot. That was a sick combo we had though with the Dutch couple. Just so cold, like within seconds. And you know what our mum's saying? It not good. My mum doesn't talk like that. Actually, I can't lie. Ugh. What is going on, guys? So it's day three. I, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday's in yesterday's part of the vlog, but <coughs> I've fallen ill, man. And it's like you know, like you feel it, and then the day after, you just know, like you're just ill. We're not gonna let that stop us from having fun and from us maximizing what we need to do here. We're gonna go out there and just do it. Like if I get ill, huh? you know what? So be it, innit? Like, innit? I'll get cured, inshallah. Inshallah. See? We keep doing that. <laughs> but yeah, guys, today we're gonna be going back to Blue Lagoon, but not to go in the Blue Lagoon, but to explore the area a bit more just because the there's like these different pools around the area where we want to use our drones get some shots of us doing the drone shots get some instagram posts as well obviously standard procedures here we're not going to stay there for too long because then we have jamaa to go to there is a muslim community here in iceland which is so so assuring and attractive as a muslim traveler isn't it? halal food muslim community a mosque we'll show you guys the mosque though but yeah like definitely something that we as muslims appreciate you know, when we're traveling, uh, we're gonna make moves and go to Blue Lagoon once again to make some content. Yeah. All right, guys, catch you there. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here, but as you can see, it's an incredible scene. You can't mess with us. Many times I've lost blood. 
football and paper. Oh, that's that Dave song. I was wondering where it's from. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yo, the content, the content we got, the photos we took. If we chat to them, let's just say you ain't ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. Should we get your photo now? Alright guys, see you in a bit. <laughs> guys, it's cold and I'm ill. It's cold and it's just cold. Do you know? I can't like this is colder than the UK. Today it is. Today yeah. it is. But guys, the photos we just took, oh my days. I don't think you guys are ready. Thing is, by the time by the time this video is out on YouTube, we should just flash them on here. Alright guys, here's a little preview. Let's go. But yeah guys. This is a sick location. Like, just to give you guys a rough insight. And obviously we caught the sunrise here, so we got like reflections, as you guys have seen in the pictures. So like, really, really nice, mashallah. Right, okay, guys, we're just gonna go pay Jumaa now. See you guys oh, there. All right, guys, we just arrived for Jumaa. This is how the masjid looks. Ibi, come on, bro. Just met a brother, Kashif, from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. It's so good to see Islam so widespread in Iceland, in America, in the UK, in Spain, everywhere. Like, subhanAllah, and a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Salaam alaikum. Not us going into Iceland, in Iceland. So, we're in Iceland, in Iceland. We got the Icelandic ketchup, stuck that bread. I really like those lights. All right, guys, good morning. Welcome, it's a new day. I think it's day four now. And um, we've fallen very ill. Like, me and Ibi are just really under the weather. Um, and don't worry, it's not. Ooh. And don't worry, it's not COVID, we tested, we checked, but we're just down bad and it's obviously sort of limiting us in terms of the energy that we have to bring, um, but that's not going to stop us from making content. We're going to go to a crashed plane site today, uh, DC-3, crashed in 1970 in some random cliff. Um, we're just going to go see it, make some content, hopefully, and uh, yeah, see you guys on road. Guys, have you seen a van like this? Look at that van, and look at Ibi struggling. <laughs> I don't want him to slip, but it'd be really funny if he did. Get your ass in this car. Hurry the. You say, man, you good, Jeff? Yeah, bro. Mind you, man, bro, man. You looking good, bro? Alhamdulillah, bro. Alhamdulillah, bro. Cool. Hey. Almost died. This floor is hella slippery. I got it on video. Yeah, man. I actually got it on video. Oh, do you actually? I actually got it on video. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe what we came across. Some horses, man. We, we were supposed to walk it, but we just decided to take the bus because we just can't be asked, right? Yes. 15 and quid? 15 quid. Front yeah, trip. Front Honestly, trip. it's not it's not that bad. Show us the fat lens we've got. Yo, shout, shout out Retro yeah. Solo, man. Shout out to Ahmed for letting us borrow this big ass lens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This Probably. is a workout. Like You hold it like this for like <laughs> two minutes. Your shoulders, your arms. <laughs> well finished. Enough. Guys, I don't think you understand how gassed I am right now. Like this, I, this is this is a dream come true. And I know it's just a plane. I know it's just a crashed plane in the middle of nowhere, but like, I don't think you understand, like from a photographer's perspective, it's mad crazy. This is literally a dream come true. Like I've been wanting to come here for the longest time. Like if you follow me, you know, Iceland has always been a dream. If you're boys with me, you know, and to actually finally see this place in it, oh my days, like I cannot fathom it. Like the little things in life, and certain things that appeal to certain people, and this is one of them. <laughs> I am so gassed right now. I am genuinely the happiest guy in the world.
Guys, we've got the whole place to ourselves. Woo! Oh my god, I'm so gassed. Today I fulfilled a dream of mine. Woo! Let's go! Guys, so we had to come to a different place to stay. The other one was a bit too far from Vic. It kind of was just convenient to just get another place to stay. First thing we, we noticed is, yo, it's a pretty cozy place, but <coughs> see that there? Bang on cap, that, that's scary, man. There's like these really creepy dolls. Now, obviously, I'm gonna pray out to the courtesy before I go to sleep, right? But yeah, anyway, Ibi's going to sleep, so I'm gonna go to sleep as well because I'm shafted. I'm just tired, mate, yeah? And hopefully, <coughs> we're safe, inshallah. Tomorrow morning, we've got a location called Vic. Now, Vic is a black sand beach. Right now, I'm gonna kip and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have I already said that? Yes. Do I care? No. Safe. By the way guys, you see this Icelandic apple juice? Elite. Very elite.